You're finished, Mike Tyson calls out Jake Paul in explosive live rant. Mike Tyson, a name that needs no introduction in the world of boxing. The former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world demolished opponents with his ferocious power and intensity. Now at 57 years old, Iron Mike is making an epic return to the ring against an unlikely foe, the controversial YouTube star and boxer Jake Paul. In a shocking announcement last week, it was confirmed that Tyson will take on Paul in a pay-per-view event at the massive AT&T Stadium in Dallas on July 20th. The bout will stream live globally on Netflix in what is sure to be one of the biggest spectacles of the year. The news came just days after 27-year-old Jake Paul scored another vicious knockout win, taking out boxer Ryan Borland in just 2 minutes and 37 seconds in Puerto Rico. Paul is now riding a three-fight winning streak following his loss to Tommy Fury in 2022. So how does a legendary former champion like Tyson view the challenge of facing the outspoken and brash YouTube personality? He's taking it very seriously based on new training footage he released this week. Roll Tyson's video of him smashing blows into his trainer's body protector, ending with, It's day one. The fun has just begun. Tyson is clearly not messing around, showcasing his still incredibly powerful and quick hands at age 57. Despite being out of the professional ranks since 2005, Iron Mike appears determined to prove he can still demolish opponents, even ones three decades his junior. The Brooklyn native's last pro bout was a loss to Kevin McBride, but just five years later in 2020, Tyson made a return for an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. that was ruled a draw. It reignited interest in seeing the all-time great back in action. Let's take a look at some of that recent training footage showing Tyson's preparations have been intense and explosive ahead of the Paul Clash. At nearly 60 years old, Tyson is cutting an incredibly ripped and formidable physique. His hand speed, footwork, and thudding power on the heavy bag look as spectacular as they did in his prime. It's a scary sight for anyone, let alone Jake Paul. The YouTube star turned boxer does deserve credit, though. After starting as a novice in the sport, Paul has steadily improved his skills, taken on legitimate boxers, and gained experience against some capable opponents. He famously fought on the undercard of Tyson's exhibition bout with Roy Jones Jr. back in 2020. That incredible one-punch knockout of former NBA star Nate Robinson went viral and kicked Paul's boxing aspirations into another stratosphere of fame and popularity. He understands the enormous platform and spectacle the Tyson fight presents. In a statement on the bout, Tyson said, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. Greatest of all time. Tyson added, It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. Those are incredibly ominous words from one of the most devastating knockout artists in boxing history. Tyson's blend of overwhelming power and crippling body attacks spearheaded by that petrifying peekaboo style made him a wrecking machine in his prime. His list of historic conquests is legendary. A young 20-year-old Tyson becoming the youngest heavyweight champion ever after destroying Trevor Burbick in 1986. Unforgettable wars with Michael Spinks, Larry Holmes, and Frank Bruno. The epic bouts with Lennox Lewis and the crunching knockout of Razor Ruddock. And of course, the two infamous bouts with Evander Holyfield that saw Tyson shockingly disqualified for biting Holyfield's ear. Through it all, Tyson cemented his status as an all-time great and one of the most captivating must-watch attractions the sport has ever seen. Fans have been clamoring for Tyson to make a full return following his impressive showing against Jones. And at age 57, he seems determined to remind everyone of his savage power one more time. But in Jake Paul, Tyson faces an ambitious young opponent three decades his junior, who has shocked boxing by managing to stay unbeaten through six professional fights so far. Paul has fought with a tenacity and hunger that Tyson can surely respect. The two fighters have shown mutual respect too. Last year, Paul stated, I don't want to take anything away from Mike Tyson. He's one of the greatest fighters of all time. If it did happen, which I'm hoping it does, 
it would be one of the most iconic events in boxing history. For Tyson's part, he has praised Paul's work ethic and skills while making it clear he plans to punish him when they meet. The fight is structured as a heavily promoted, rules-restricted six, eight-round exhibition showcase between Paul and Tyson. Rules mandate no knockouts. Judges award the fight to the competitor deemed more effective and shoving clinching is permitted to reset action. Both men would somewhat engage in stretches of controlled, intense boxing action, tailgating their arsenals and skills, but neither would be permitted to uncork fight-ending dynamite. Tyson would be reeled in by officials and his corner from unleashing prime ferocity. Likewise, Paul's corner provides ample breaks if he endures any wobbly situations. It plays out as a respectable theatrical performance by both men under serious supervision. Tyson gets his nostalgic spotlight to flex for fans. Paul earns respect by withstanding significant punishment. And at the final bell, likely after eight rounds, a historically highly debated split decision winner is announced to preserve the drama. Out of respect to Nevada, Florida, and other leading commissions refusing to sanction this as a fight, the event is restructured and repackaged as an entirely new hybrid exhibition concept that avoids legal hurdles. The state athletic bodies have no oversight, which empowers promoters to introduce hybrid rules, allowing grappling, throwdowns, and loosely defined accountability. Essentially, it adopts a similar celebrification to pro wrestling via predetermined outcomes and scripting. Under this environment, Jake Paul remarkably avoids a blistering Tyson onslaught through dramatic cinematic sequences. His agility and athleticism overcome Tyson's compact explosiveness via unexpected takedown exchanges and restarts. The possibility of stoppage is yanked away through heavily moderated formats, controversial replays, and clueless guest judges. Ultimately, through holes in the fight rules and questionable decisions, a polarizing predetermined Jake Paul outcome conclusion materializes. It's ridiculous and insulting to purists, but Mike Tyson is paid highly as the perfect counter antagonist to elevate Paul's stardom. So there you have it, fight fans. Every angle to analyze regarding the potentially disastrous, but inevitably must watch Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson exhibition spectacle. On one side, a massively scrutinized stunt show represents a new low for the sport's sanctity and tradition. A money grab being perpetuated by a brash celebrity personality against one of boxing's most iconic lions cosplaying past his prime. On the other side, high-stakes melodrama intersecting with cross-generational iconography and a level of mainstream curiosity and promotional sizzle few combat sports events could ever replicate. Both perspectives ring true, yet it's impossible to deny the gravitational pull towards this bizarre fight actually coming to fruition. Jake Paul desires the opportunity to participate in an unforgettable event that could forever amplify his drawing power, bank account, and self-proclaimed pursuit of boxing legitimacy. Mike Tyson yearns to relive the glory days of being the most must-see force in sports entertainment, even if briefly before hanging up his gloves for good. And fans, whether motivated by intrigue or morbid curiosity, cannot resist the possibility that this gimmick could somehow deliver jaw-dropping fireworks or cringeworthy infamy when these two figures inevitably collide. So while the combat purists voice their outrage and pragmatists wring their hands over safety and ethics, the spectacle machine grinds on, inevitably pulling all within its tractor beam towards the butting of heads between past and future divisive icons. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson exemplifies everything controversial about boxing's influencer era. But for all the criticism and concern, shouldn't fans still appreciate the audacity of two entertainers willing to upturn every convention for one last viral slugfest in the name of freezing themselves in time? No matter where you stand on this, one fact remains. If this event does get cleared for exhibition, you'd be lying if you said you wouldn't watch through clenched fingers and bated breath. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.